good job it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i just finished watching the brian danielson adam hangman page segment uh on AEW dynamite uh one of you guys sent it to me in a dm or well, was talking to me about it and wanted me to check it out let me let me give the proper shout out he always sends me some uh information related to wrestling stuff if i miss raw or smackdown or whatnot underscore cornelius underscore underscore uh conley sent this to me he was basically telling me to check out the segment and uh he wanted my thoughts and opinions on it so i decided to check out the segment and um i'm doing my my thoughts and opinions on it right now i wish i could react to it guys on youtube but i'm telling you now tnt whatever they got going on with youtube they are very, very super strict. If you guys seen our live stream reaction of, of the last AEW event, Full Gear, you would know they literally gave us a strike on live on the on the channel at the time on the Clutch Corn Rogue page. But we got the strike removed, so everything's good on that. But they're very strict. They're very, very, very strict. So I can't really go too much. I can't really react to it, but I can only talk about it. And that's okay. So, Brian Danielson, Adam Hangman Page, Adam, uh, Adam celebrating his win as rightfully so, crowd loving it, and it, it makes sense. They've been building this guy up to ultimately overcome the odds and win the championship for some years now. And it's good to see long term booking finally paying off. In the end, he's the overwhelming baby face. The Brian Danielson, he's the number one contender for the AEW Championship. Um, it, you knew it wasn't going to go well for Brian Danielson in this situation because he, overall he has been the, the big, you know, big baby face in the company. But when you're going against someone that they've been wanting to win and they finally win the big one, it's one of those things where it's like, it didn't really matter who faced them. They were going to be ultimately looked at as the heel because no one wants to see his title reign in so quickly. So, Brian Danielson comes out, he congratulates him, and then he just starts going heel. He starts sending subtle, subtle jabs. He starts having some heel mannerisms. He even mentioned WrestleMania. He even talked about, look, after WrestleMania, when I won the championship, I fought the very next night. You over here chilling. You over here celebrating. You do a lot of jaw jacking and not, not as much wrestling. Like he was really building up like this heel persona. Something like we've seen before when he went heel in WWE. The one thing I do like about this segment and I like about where they take they could potentially take this is the fact that they're listening to the crowd reaction. You can tell somewhat in AEW that they listen to the fan reception and they know at the end of the day whoever faces Adam Hangman Page for that title, they're going to ultimately be booed. So, it doesn't make sense to have a baby face facing another baby face when that one baby face is going to get a heel-like reaction. How many times have we seen that in WWE where they refuse to change someone's character for it to make sense story-wise only because they envision that character being a certain way? So, I like this segment. You can really see... The, the, the heel like persona coming out of Daniel Bryan, which I was enjoying. And I like the fact that he sat up there. He he did the typical thing in what heels do when they're like, yo, we can fight right now. The baby face like, we can fight right now. And then the heel makes up an excuse on why they can't fight. In this situation, he kind of spun it. And he's like, I would fight you. I'm already in my wrestling gear, but you're not even in your wrestling gear. And I don't, you're the type to make excuses. When I beat you, I don't want to hear any excuses about I wasn't ready. So when you're ready, when you actually look like you're ready to wrestle, then we can get it on. And I, I love that. It was a nice spin on traditional heel work. If they're going to turn Daniel Bryan heel, which I can see it happening for this particular feud, you might as well do it. You might as well pull the trigger on that only because... It just makes sense, and and that's one thing I can say about AEW. For the most part, they're not perfect on booking decisions, but for the most part, it makes sense to pull the trigger on a situation like this when you know they're going to put on a great match and you want it to make sense. It doesn't make sense to have Brian Danielson as a face. 
because he's not going to get cheered. He's going to be booed because he's going against the guy that they, the people want right now. So it just works out that way. You know what I'm saying? If anything, he could possibly pull a tweener out. It's rare that you see tweeners of nowadays in wrestling. He could pull that off. Like, if he's in another feud, by default, he'll probably be the face. But if he's going against someone that people really like, he'll kind of pull the tweener road. And the same way I can say with, um, with CM Punk in the Eddie Kingston feud, like CM Punk was starting to come off more heelish or whatnot with Eddie Kingston and their, you know, their personal feud they've built over the years behind the scenes and stuff like that. So it can work. It's just, it depends on how it's booked. But if he does turn fully heel, I'm okay with it. I'm liking these signs. It makes sense. It'll probably make the feud a little bit better. And I don't think AEW is really going to make him a transitional champion. I think the people that win that belt, it will mean something. And I like that. Everyone that has won the belt, belt so far, they have treated the championship like gold. And, and I'm not saying everybody deserves a two to three year title reign. No, I'm not saying that. But they is not transitional champions. That's what I mean. Like he wins it. He won it at this last pay-per-view. And then the next pay-per-view, he drops it. I don't see that happening. I feel like they build up stories. They allow them to really, you know what I'm saying, get some wins under their belt before they eventually drop it. Because you want whoever wins the belt, you want them to come off as believable as possible to the point where it's like, yeah, this mo he going to hold this belt for a while because it took him a while to get to this point. So he's not going to be no easy person to beat. Not like in WWE where it seems like the champions are not even as strong as they should be and the title reigns may last a couple weeks sometimes. So I like that they're going to probably have him, Adam Hangman, Hangman Page, hold on to the belt for a while. So we'll see how they do it because I know they're trying to book Brian Danielson strong in AEW. Also, I did see the little, the little clip of MJF trying to introduce himself to CM Punk. MJF out there cutting his heel like promo. CM Punk interrupts. He comes out there. MJF is like trying to shake his hand. And guess what? CM Punk just turns his back on him. That is great. Because we're talking about two of the best promo guys damn near in that company. I'm talking about they are fantastic on the mic. MJF is about to go in. CM Punk is about to go in. Promos alone is about to be amazing. I can't wait to see where they go with this. It seems like they're probably moving on from the, the Darby Allen food feud. It may be a one and done situation. Maybe not. Who knows? But MJF is just a good heel that people want to see get his ass kicked. He's one of those type of heels. He's probably one of the best heels in the business right now because he's just so you just want to hate him he knows how to really bring that out in the crowd so him with cm punk take my money just off the promos alone so best believe i am keeping up with aw you know a little bit here and there and i think those who send me clips or send me like you know information about what happened if i'm not able to check it out or whatnot i just wish i could record it for you guys and do a live uh do a reaction on youtube but they are super strict like and i'm not trying to get this channel with any strikes or anything like that or the video getting blocked and it's just a waste of recording time you know i want to make sure whatever i'm recording you guys see so comment down below let me go uh i said let me go what am i talking about comment down below let me know would you guys be interested in seeing brian danielson as a heel i know he just got into the company not too long ago but would y'all be cool with him being a heel also are you guys potentially excited about uh cm punk and mjf having a feud having to go at it on the microphone and in the ring like are you guys excited about that feud because i know i am so appreciate all the love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all on the next one peace